Hi, Stampin' Friends. This is Amanda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Michigan. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping on by. I really appreciate it. You know your time is valuable, so thanks so much for being here. Today, I want to show you how I made my first Halloween card of the season. And I used the cutest Halloween bundle for that. It comes with a stamp set and a punch. I'll show you that punch in a little bit. And there also is the 6x6 DSP available to purchase. Very cute. Um, some are just dots on one side. Some just say boo. But then there's others. Some there's, On the other side, there's some fun graphics. I mean, this is a, a really great all-around set that you can, you know, use. There's four four pieces of each image. Four pieces of it, each image. Does that make sense, guys? And uh, yeah, there's four, you know, four pieces of the same image. And then on the back. Never mind. You guys understand. But there's four of them. <laughs> so like me, if I cut into them and then I think, oh, do I really want this one? Or am I going to take that one? So it's okay. You have four of them. All right. So we are going to use some crushed curry here. We're going to be making an A2 size card, which is five and a half by four and a quarter a quarter of a piece of cardstock. And we are going to cut basic white, uh, daffodil delight and pumpkin pie. Although you could also do crushed curry. And I'm thinking this might be crushed curry that I'm looking at it. Uh, one and three quarters by four. And I would do something different here, but I'll tell you in a little bit how I would do this. So I'm going to then take a piece of copy paper or maybe printer paper, whatever you choose to call it, and cut that out at four by five and a quarter. So it's a base, an A2 size base. And then I'm going to make my stripes like candy corn. If I were to do this again, I would make it bigger and cut it down because no matter what I did, I could not make this go perfectly straight. And I don't know if that's, that, well, it's probably because the piece of paper that I used was so thin. So I could, you know, move it a little bit. Maybe if it was a uh, card socket, you know, I could make it, whatever it is, it just wasn't perfect at the end. So I'd make it bigger and cut it down. Uh, but you do you, if you could make this perfect, let me know how you do it. Uh, I, when I was looking to see the colors of the candy corn, I like read like, why, why does so many people hate candy corn or why is candy corn taste so bad or something? I'm like, really? I mean, the name brand tastes good. You, I mean, right. You have to have, um, candy corn on Halloween that, I mean, the name brand only, I don't, I don't eat the non-name brand. I'm very particular about my candy corn, but at least once, right? Right? All right. So I'm going to do the sketch, or I think I'm going to do the sketch. And I think candy, candy, you know, candy corn, I I'm going to use this. And after remembering that this is actually an A2 size, so it needs to be smaller, I figured that I'll just do one and three quarters. So every stripe is one and three quarters. I mean, that makes sense for, you know, logical purposes. And I set that to the side because I'm not loving it. I just don't like the black and white next to the colors. I just don't know. And I'm certainly not coloring in all of those little pieces. So I put that to the side and I think I'm going I'm to just, I'll work with this. I'll work with it in a minute. But I am first going to stamp my cute little ghost out. And remember, this is photopolymer. So you want to use your stamping piercing mat. Another thing you could use is your catalog. You could stamp on top of your catalog that works or an old mouse pad. And it has the cute little hands and the eyes. Very cute. Now, because this punch has so many things, elements, puncher roos, stuff to punch out, you kind of have to do a little bit of um, creative cutting so that you can still have a piece to hold on to. But, uh, you know, it fits in there. Now, if you are make it, if you do end up making your uh, piece that you're holding on to too small to hold on to it, just use a sticky note uh, and put the sticky note on your piece of paper and then push it in there. That helps. I I don't like it so far. I, I have to. <laughs> 
yep, I'm not loving it. So, okay, push that to the side. Let's just focus on the sediment because the sediment, we, I mean, let's just start from the sediment. Truthfully, let's just start from the sediment. So I'm going to use the trick or treat fun graphic, fun text, fun font, Fred font. It's a um, great little font. It's perfect trick or treat. Wonderful. And then there is a piece of candy or three pieces of candy corn in there. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. So I'll stamp that in orange. So then I can use a uh, crushed curry or daffodil delight, whatever, stamp and bright marker. I don't even have to use my blends for this. So quick little swoosh around and excellent. Now let's talk about what else is in this set. Have a fabulous Halloween. Treat yourself. You put a smile on my face and hey boo. So fun sentiments. Very cute. This is for good for your munchkins. Uh, this not necessarily for your teenager or maybe I think probably at 10, they want to be scared at, at Halloween. Am I wrong? Should it be like Eight? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I do have an eight year old granddaughter. So, oh, she can't be eight, can she? All right. We're just not going to talk about how old she is. And so I, I made the candy corn on each side and I thought, well, I'll just cut this out, you know, with the circle because that makes sense. But I wanted, I did want the candy corn to go off. So it was, you know, like a bigger. So there was more to the sentiment. I did, this was on purpose. This was not, you know, this was strategic. I didn't fake this. I did you know, I'm not faking, pretending. I'm, I wanted to do this. I would tell you if not, I promise. So um, then I was like, well, uh, let's just stamp everything and see what we've, what we have. And I am not a cat person. I just, I like cats. That's fine. But I don't know that cats necessarily, like cute cats are not necessarily for me for Halloween. Cute cats are, you know, it has to be a scary cat for Halloween. Even if it's a, no, it just, no, it has to be a scary cat. So jack-o'-lanterns, even if they're happy, can be for Halloween. And skulls, even if they're happy, can be Halloween. And ghosts, even they're happy, but not cats. Non, no, no, no. So I chose to do the skull and um, what's this? Oh, yes, yeah, the jack o' lantern. So I'll punch these out and uh, I'll put oh, okay, all right, all right. I'll oh, no, 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 no. Okay, all right, let's start over. We're just gonna stick this on and it's going to be a very simple. Very, very simple card. Have you guys ever been there? I mean, is this just me where you're just like, this is just a mess. I came to do something exciting and I'm going to end with the basic card. Now, the truth is this is a basic card, but you could do 30 of them for your kids, for your grandkids, for whoever kids is class. I mean, this is easy enough that, you know, anyone can mass produce this. You're Kids, grandkids, nephews, aunts, nieces, whatever. All those people can actually do this card. So, yes, this is a basic card, but it is easily reproduce reproducible. That makes sense, right? That's a word. Um, and it's fun. I mean, it's cute. It does need some bling, which I I don't add, but I should. I will. I'll I'll do it eventually. I do use the strips for the ghosts, so it's a little bit popped up. You know, because the strips are two dimensionals tall and uh, the dimensionals are one dimensional tall. Does that make sense? All right, now let's go. <laughs> let's go on the inside. Again, four inches by five and a quarter is a panel, my panel, my go to panel for an A2 size card. And we are going to do something really easy on the inside. We're going to take this, have a fabulous. Halloween, and we're going to stamp that in pumpkin pie. And then we're going to uh, get this cute little itty bitty spider. Oh, and spiders, cute spiders can be for Halloween too, but not cute cats. All right, tell me, cute cats for Halloween? Let me know in the comment section below if you think you could get away with cute cats for Halloween. I'm just, I'm thinking no. Maybe if it has a witch's hat on it, 
But just the hat, I just, I'm not in love with the cat and the face for the cat in the stamp set for Halloween. Now, I like it for other things, but all right, let me know in the comment section below if you, you know, if you think that's true or not, or if I'm wrong. I'm wrong lots of times. Just ask my daughter. All right. <laughs> all right. My teenage daughter. Uh, that's my card today. A cute little spider on the happy Halloween. Have a good one. See you soon.